Welcome to my channel. We're going to go traveling now and see different roads, different places, and all kinds of things that I hope you will find interesting. So subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment also. I try to read every one of them. Thanks for viewing. Hey, look who's out on the bike today. Say hey, Vicky. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> Here's where we are today. I told you I was going to go for a ride if we could, and we did. And this is where I'll put a link to it. Where's the sign? I didn't even see the sign. There we go. Put a link to it so you can look at a good pictures from other folks. But it's gravel road down here, guys, for uh, oh, a good three or four miles. And it's down steep. So, uh, as you've seen, it's called Thousand Springs Park, State Park. It is beautiful here. Makes me want to go jump in the water. There's going to be a lot to film here, I think. So I hope it don't get too long, but I want to show you how beautiful this is. My wife wears, always wears a skid lid. I ain't going to tell her not to. And she doesn't, well, she does too, tell me to. <laughs> I don't tell nobody to wear one or not to. All right, isn't that pretty? That's kind of a cool looking thing right there too. We're going to try to take some video on the way out of here if I can get the wife to hold the camera. She gets a little nervous in these situations. But that is pretty. And that is, well... It's a spring. It should be clear. Look how clear that water is, guys. It's about 97 degrees up where the RV's parked. Right now, we got the air conditioning on. Hank's in there enjoying that. My wife doesn't like my air conditioning, which is going to be great if we end up living in Yuma. I don't think we can go up that way. Big sign. Please something or other. See if we can focus in on that. Dogs on leash. But it's fenced off there, so we can't go up that way. But there's something we can go up there and see if that way. If it isn't too far, we'll walk up there and check it out. Um, well, I want to get. We might drive up there if we need be because it's nice up there. There's all kinds of waterfalls. I've showed you this uh, place from across the river and told you I'd come here someday. Uh, it's in Hagerman Valley. And uh, I put a video on here about uh, swimming pools down here, hot tubs and such. And in that, I just, I'm just show, showing across the river to this point here. This is on the other side of Snake River from Highway 30. But there's lots of these little places here with water flowing out. From what I understand, believe it or not, this water is flowing all the way from Yellowstone Park. And this is where it goes down in here and feeds the streams and Snake River. Also, uh, I want to get a video of, you know, better watch where the heck I'm walking. Somebody don't clean up after their dogs. Oh my, I don't know. oh boy. Anyway. This is, uh, I think Twin Buell, Idaho is, used to be the trout. <laughs> Did you just hear my wife? She just hit the dog shit I hit. Watch out. Buell, Idaho used to be the capital of the, Mar of the world for uh, rainbow trout. It still may be. Yeah, we're going to go down there with some one of these days and film that for you. But that is, this is just beautiful. So let's go see what else we can find to film. They have a festival down here. Do you remember what that festival was called? Thousand Springs Festival, I think. Watch where you're walking. Why? There is dog shit everywhere. What? Did you say what? Don't don't say that word. 
Yeah, I noticed that. That is disgusting. People can't even clean up after their dogs. Look at it. Yeah. That's really not very cool. You know what it is? That's goose. That can't be goose poop. That's goose poop. I'm pretty sure. Oh my God. Them are big gooses. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of goose poop. Anyway, let's go see what else we can find. That's a pretty cool bridge. I was going to show you that <laughs> before I got distracted with the goose poop. But some of the, man, them geese must have stood there for all day long doing that. All right, let's look at this bridge. That's kind of cool. That's an old wooden bridge. Now we're going to Head on up that road, see what we can see. I'm sure the wife will take a lot of pictures. It's cool down here, we stay here for a while. Well, we decided to walk. You remember that really clean bike I had a minute ago? <laughs> Not so anymore. Not so, and yeah. It got dusted by a couple cars going down the road here. It ain't no show bike. I like it clean, I like it nice. But I also like to ride. Just the way we are, huh, honey? Yep. That is so clear. Jump in there. Tell me how cold that is. Nope, she's ignoring me again. But we're going to just walk up here. I don't want to drive. I don't like driving on gravel. I mean, hell, I can drive in sand. I can drive on ice. But I don't want to. Let's go check that out. Well guys, I lost the wife. So this is a good time to put in a plug for her site. Greener than a gourd, full time, RV living. Check that one out. Cause as you can see, I kind of whip by a bunch of crap that she probably finds interesting that you would probably find interesting. So go to her site for better photos. Stay on my site for better videos. Can you hear the birds? What a beautiful place. A little creek fed by the falls. I almost ran over those guys right there. You know, they're camouflaged. I couldn't see them standing here. Is that beautiful or what? Now there's your road we came down. It gets steeper than that. And here's the falls. Let's go back in here and get a little closer. If I shut up, you can hear them. Sometimes nature just frames itself with beauty through these three limbs. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I've lived here all my life and never came down and looked at these. The breeze is cool. Like I said, it's in the 80s today. Standing right here, there's a nice breeze. Imagine that. You guys that are looking at this, just imagine that. You've, you've been around falls and felt that breeze before, coming off the pool of water. If I find the name of this falls, I'll put it on there. 
I don't know if it has a name. It's just like I said, this was just water coming from Yellowstone. Some two or three hundred miles, wherever it is, to get here. And it feels good. So let's see if I can get a picture of this with the wife in the background. And me. Or this in the background with me and the wife. There's how I'm gonna do it, huh? Huh. Ain't she pretty guy? <laughs> See what we can do. I think the videos are going to do this justice. Check out Vicky site for good still photos. They got a fence across the river here. I, I don't know uh, what that's for. If they have uh, illegals trying to cross this river or keep the fish on one side. I don't know what it's for, but there it is. There's a fence across the river, or stream. They say there's a thousand of these springs down here. There's a thing about my camera. I can't zoom in. I got a better zoom. I should have brought Eric's. Yeah. We inherited Eric's camera and, and my lens. See, there's their parents right over there. Oh, their parents are waiting for them right there somewhere. Right over there. Right in them Mommy weeds right there, mom and daddy. Yeah. Waiting for the youngins. Letting them cross by themselves. <laughs> well, you got to teach them when they're young. I, I seen them ducks, every one of them, they're little ducklings. They they all they all looked both ways. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Didn't see that. Huh? Oh, now they're stopping. That's why the parents they're are waiting. rebellious. <laughs> rebellious ducklings. Hey, here comes a bunch of noisy kids. So much for the solitude. Oh, they're kayakers. It's noisy adults. Noisy adults, yeah. <laughs> noisy adults. Our ears are still ringing from them screaming people at the last concert. Huh. Yeah. That was terrible. But anyway, if we walked far enough, I'm sure we would run into more springs down through there. Yeah, a long ways down there. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But I do want to say one thing. Let me, let me turn this camera around on myself. This is probably... Well, two years ago, I couldn't have walked this far. There's no doubt. Is that right? Yep, that's right. So the knees are working. They're getting a little better every day. But it took over a year for him to quit hurting all the time. So I guess if you got to have new knees, go do it. But wait till you've got to do it. And don't do them both at once. Anyway, we'll see if we can find anything else to film on the way out of here. You want to try to hold this camera and film going up the mountain on the bike? I try. We can try. All right, that's all I can ask for. So let's see what we got on the way out. Can you guys see the squirrel? Uh, yeah. I don't know if 
to the sea. Got a leaf in the way. There he is, right there. See that little squirrel looking at you guys? He's still staring, but there's a leaf in front of him that keeps blurring everything out. He's just laying there enjoying that cool breeze, what he's doing.